Welcome back to another episode of the Straight Shooter Recruiter. I'm Emily, a senior recruiter by day, podcast host by night, and then career coach on the weekends. And today I am very excited to be sitting behind this microphone and also behind this camera. If you're listening on the podcast, I'm using the same video for my YouTube. Does that make sense? You know what I'm trying to say. This is going to be uploaded in both places. Anyways, I am so jazzed to be coming at you today with a topic that is always highly requested. It's how to answer the dreaded, what is your biggest strength and what is your biggest weakness question in an interview? I find this is one where candidates, myself included, really tend to freeze up because it simultaneously is asking us to be self-deprecating and overly cocky. And my brain just does not compute. But fear not, there is a way to answer this question pretty dang easily and in a way that, in my opinion, is quite impressive. So grab a coffee, sit back and relax. We're going to talk careers. But before we do that, if you have not already subscribed to my podcast, my YouTube channel at The Straight Shooter Recruiter, or given both of them a little review, you know, shown them a little love, or you haven't head over to my Instagram and TikTok at Emily the Recruiter. What are you doing? Now is the time. Go do that. I can wait. All right, now we're ready to go. Let's get into the good stuff. First things first, if somebody asks you what your greatest strength is, please do not feel uncomfortable being a little bit cocky. Now, granted, you don't want to come across as arrogant or as overly confident, but they're literally asking you to hype yourself up a little bit. So use that as an opportunity to showcase your amazing skills. My biggest tip for answering this question is A, pick something that you are legitimately good at. There's nothing worse than someone, you know, lying in an interview saying, oh, my biggest strength is I'm great with data. And then they show up on the job and they're horrible. And it makes you and honestly, the recruiter kind of look like an idiot. So don't do that. Pick a skill that you genuinely have. My biggest tip for this is come prepared to the interview with a skill that is already listed in the job description. So if they are looking for someone who's an amazing public speaker and you are an amazing public speaker, use that skill. So my biggest piece of advice, use a skill that is really critical for that job. So make sure that it's relevant and that you're calling it out and always tying it back to why you have that skill and why it's a perfect match for the position you're applying for. But honestly, that's the easier of the two questions. Let's get into weaknesses. When people ask me to identify my weaknesses, I feel weak in the knees. I don't feel good. I don't enjoy it because I panic, not because I don't have weaknesses, but because I have so many and I'm scared of exposing them. But now that I've worked on the recruitment side of the world, I can guarantee you that people want you to be authentic and to be honest. So please do not use this as an opportunity to have a cocky response. Like, I don't make mistakes. You know, I wouldn't relate or I don't have weaknesses. I'm perfect. That's not what companies want. Companies want you to be your authentic and real self. And part of that is showing up in a way that is a little bit vulnerable. So my biggest piece of advice for this is be honest. Pick something that you are genuinely not that good at. But here's what's going to make you stand out from the bunch. You're going to share something that you're not good at, but you're also going to share what you do to overcome it. So this is legitimately my answer. If you've been following me for a while, you've heard me use this example before, but I say it because it's really true. I suck with data. Data is not my thing. Me and numbers, not friends. Like we do not jive. However, you cannot escape data in almost every single field. You know, I don't think there's a single field out there where numbers don't matter. So here's my response when someone asks me what my greatest weakness is. I'm honest. I say, honestly, data is not something that I'm overly strong in. I'm not naturally great with numbers, but to make up for it, I always block extra time off in my calendar during the work week to make sure I have enough time to review data and ensure it's accurate. And I'm also always staying up to date with different data trends, as well as little hacks I can do on Excel or Google Sheets to help automate the work I do to ensure accuracy. So always call out what an honest gap is that you have from a skills perspective, but most importantly, what you do to overcome it. That's what's really going to make you stand out and is honestly what the recruiter is looking for. That felt like this video was 30 seconds long. It's very possible that it is. 
I don't know. Don't judge me. I just wanted to get it in there short and sweet, but I hope this was helpful. It was just a tiny itsy bitsy tip to help you prepare for your next interview. If it was helpful, let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have more questions. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, show me a little bit of love on whatever corner of the internet you're hanging out on. Thank you so much for spending time with me and I will talk to you in my next, I was going to say video, but I suppose this is also a podcast. Whatever. I'll talk to you soon.